Brilliance Audio presents Run Away by Harlan Coben, performed by Stephen Weber. Chapter 1 Simon sat on a bench in Central Park, in Strawberry Fields, to be more precise, and felt his heart shatter. No one could tell, of course, at least not at first, not until the punches started flying. And two tourists from Finland, of all places, started screaming, while nine other park visitors from a wide variety of countries caught the whole horrible incident on smartphone video. But that was still an hour away. There were no strawberries in strawberry fields, and you'd be hard-pressed to call the two-and-a-half-acre landscaped grounds a field singular, let alone more than one. But the name was derived not from anything literal, but from the eponymous Beatles track. Strawberry Fields is a triangular-shaped area off 72nd Street in Central Park West, dedicated to the memory of John Lennon, who was shot and killed across the street. The centerpiece of this memorial is a round mosaic of inlaid stones with a simple caption in the middle. Imagine. Simon stared straight ahead, blinking, devastated. Tourists streamed in and snapped photos with the famed mosaic, group shots, solo selfies, some kneeling on the inlaid stone, some lying down on it. Today, as it is most days, someone had decorated the word imagine with fresh flowers forming a peace sign of red rose petals that somehow didn't blow away. The visitors, maybe because the place was a memorial, were patient with one another, waiting their turn to step toward the mosaic for that special photo that they'd post on their Snapchat or Instagram or whatever social media platform they favored with some John Lennon quote, maybe a Beatles lyric or something from the song about all the people living life in peace. Simon wore a suit and tie. He hadn't bothered to loosen the tie after leaving his office on Vesey Street in the World Financial Center. Across from him, also sitting near the famed mosaic, a, what do you call them now, vagrant, transient, drug addle, mentally ill, panhandler, what, played Beatles songs for tips. The street musician, a kinder name perhaps, strummed an out-of-tune guitar and sang in a cracked voice through yellowing teeth about how Penny Lane was in her ears and in her eyes. Odd, or at least funny memory. Simon used to walk past this mosaic all the time when his children were young. 